Hey, what's up, YouTube? Have you ever wanted to live inside a firework? Probably not, because they do have a tendency to get set on fire and then explode. Huh. Well, anyway, in this video, I'll be showing you how to make this awesome firework house. I think that it's a nice idea to start off the new year with a bang. So I've made this fun theme house for you. If you do enjoy this content, please do remember to hit that like button. And if you do happen to like the Live Inside series, like Live Inside a Firework and Live Inside a Furnace and all that sort of stuff, please do remember to check out the card system and the description below for the Live Inside playlist. And you'll be able to make a lot of small stuff exactly like this. But without any further ado, let me show you how to make this thing. So if you want to make it, here's what you'll need. You will need every single one of those materials that you can see in my inventory right now. And we shouldn't need one material more. So make sure that you have absolutely every single one of these. We're going to begin using the ones that I have in my hotbar. And now, once you do have them all, we can start. So we're going to begin the build with a row of seven oak planks coming up from the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We then want to take that 7th block and we want to place a red concrete block on top of it. And from that red concrete, place 4 red concrete coming towards you. 1, 2, 3 and 4. And extend that 4th block left and right by 1. Take the first initial red concrete and now go left of it by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then go left and right of that fourth concrete by one. Then take that first initial concrete and now going backwards, backwards from it, place a row of four. One, two, three, four. And then extend it left and right by one. And finally, take that very first initial concrete and extend it to the right this time by four. One, two, three, four. And then left and right by one. So you have this shape right here. What we now want to do is we want to connect each one of these outer blocks, these ones that kind of look like T's or a big giant X. It, you know what? This kind of looks like the X that a pirate had used to mark his treasure map. We want to connect these together diagonally. The best way to do this is to just fill in the inside portions like this and then place one red concrete in the center and then two on the outside to connect them diagonally. So if we come here, like if we just fill in these two big bits and then one in the corner and then one either side, there we go, to connect everything together diagonally is the best way of just filling in the base of this. And this, of course, is the base of our firework. So once we have this done, we can actually start building up the body of the firework. So essentially, we just want to have a nice big circular shape. So we now want to take every single one of the outer blocks of our firework and we want to raise them up by 12. So that will look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, like this. And this will form the large majority of the body of the firework. So just take all of the outer blocks of our circle. You don't have to do the inner blocks because, of course, we want to actually have somewhere to live inside. But you want to take all of the outer blocks and raise them all up by 12. This will make sure that the body of the firework, the big long bit, will be 13 blocks long. And you might be wondering to yourself, hey, the firework is actually red and white. Why are we only using red at the moment? Well, the reason for this is because I find it easier myself to add the white afterwards i i think it is anyway because we're kind of like dealing with a peculiar pattern it's just really easier to like have the 3d object ready and then apply the pattern rather than kind of like build the pattern in otherwise it gets a little bit weird and such you'll see what i mean in a second so so far we want to have all of that right there what we're now going to do is we're going to grab our brown concrete and we want to place a row of brown concrete on top of the row of red that we have at the top of the firework. So place a layer of brown on top of the layer of red, like this. Then extend that brown concrete one row outwards 
all the way around the outside of that row of brown. So just add another row of brown out of this, just to kind of reinforce the shape of the firework, like that. We then want to add a row of brown on top of this outer row of brown, like this. So we want to have two rows, like that. That's perfect. We then want to add a row of brown above and inside of this row of brown that we've just made. So like above and inside, we want to making sure that this row of brown does not touch at the corners. We want to place a row of brown that is one row higher and one row smaller than the previous row of uh, brown. So you guys can see what I'm on about. We basically just want to shrink the top shape of the firework just like that. And then we want to do it again. So we want to take the inside of the firework and we want to shrink it one more time. The object, of course, is to eventually get kind of like a nice sort of pointy-ish shape. And, uh, and that'll actually look really good. So we're just going to fill this in. And we want to do this one more time. So we're going to do this one more time. And this time what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to fill in the entire empty space. So just fill in all of the empty space right at the top of the firework like this. You then want to take the very center of the firework at the top. You want to place a brown. Extend it left, right, up and down. And then take the center again and extend it up by one. And this will create a really nice top to the firework. It looks nice and pointy like that. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, that is a really boring looking firework. How can I make it look better? Well, grab yourself the white concrete, all right? And what we're going to do is we're going to come to the front bottom of the firework. We're going to take this block specifically. We're on the front of the firework. We're down at the left on the bottom. We want to destroy this block and the one to the right of it and above and to the right. And we want to go above, destroy the block to the right, above, to the right, above, to the right, above, to the right, above, right, above, right above right above right above right above right and above now what we have created here is kind of like a nice cutout from the firework shape we are going to replace every single block that we just destroyed and it should be quite easy to figure out um, what blocks have been destroyed because there'll be giant holes in your firework we want to fill in all of the empty blocks that we have just gotten rid of with white concrete. And the effect is actually quite pleasing to look at. We'll end up with something that should look, this is probably a better view, that should look like that. Right? Now, we don't want to ju just do this the once, okay? So we don't just want to do this like on the front of the firework, but we want to come to the right hand side now. And on the right hand side, we want to start from the very bottom left hand corner on the right hand side, like where we have the row of three on the left, and we're going to destroy this block. And then the block to the right, and above to the right, 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 above, right up, right up, right up, right up, uh, right up, right up. And we have just followed the same pattern that we have just done on the front. And all we want to do is we just want to fill in all of the empty space that we have left. And this will create a very pleasing um, spiral effect on the firework, which we are going to do two more times. So now if we were to come to the front, you can see that we've now got an extra white strip. And with every white strip that, that we do, the better it looks. So if we now come to the back of the firework and we begin, are we on the back? Now, <laughs> now this is a back. Uh, now that we come to the back of the firework, we do the same thing. We start in the same position. So we destroy this block, right up, right up, right up, right up, right up. Right up, right up, right up, right up, right up, right up. Oh, there, ah, there we go. I almost missed a step there, but 
we just destroy all of that. We come back to where we started and we just fill it in. Or I suppose we could even work our way backwards, couldn't we, once we've destroyed it. I'll do that on the uh, the next and final time that we're doing this. But the point of the matter is, we start from the same position every single time. And we just fill in the empty blocks and we stop when we eventually hit the top of the firework. And there is only one side left that we can actually do it from, which is, I believe, this should be the left-hand side. No, the right-hand side of the firework. I'm getting confused. The point of the matter is, there's only one side that we haven't done it to, and we're going to do it to that. So, start from the left, on the bottom of the firework, and we're just going to do the same pattern that we have done, um, like, three times before now. And it will just create a really nice pattern. But do you see what I mean? Like, it's easier to do this now that we have, like, a finished firework. So it's actually, uh, I think anyway, easier to kind of like build the body of the firework and then do this particular um, part. But you guys might differ in opinion. And by the way, the firework does not have to be red. You could, of course, make it out of any uh, any color that you want. But red also happens to be my favorite color. And I think it's also kind of like a classic firework color too. So uh, it just kind of makes sense. But you'll get a very, very cool effect. Oh, you could even actually like finish like on a right. Instead, like, when you hit the top, you could even, like, finish on a right if you wanted to, like, that might actually create a bit of a better effect. So, you know, like, how we just went all the way up to the top? You could, like, hit the top and then go right with the final white concrete. See which one you like the best. I actually think I like that a bit better. Yeah, it, because it just looks a bit more complete like that. But yeah, I really, really like how that looks. That looks really cool. Um, if you want to add a door on the firework, although you'd probably never use it, uh, I just think it looks kind of cool. I don't know why. Um, you might want to add a door like here on the uh, like middle front of your firework, just so people know that it's actually like a house. Um, I'm going to add ladders to um, the front of the oak wood planks, and I'm going to destroy a small hole so that we can actually climb into the base of the firework. I'm going to give the firework a fuse. So a fuse is what would be lit to make it so that the firework can actually like be ignited and then you know pop off it ignites the gunpowder and it flies off. So we're going to use black concrete and all the way at the top of the oak wood planks we're going to place a black concrete to the left of it. We're going to go down from that black concrete by two, one, two, extend it towards you by one and then we're going to go down by one and then we're just going to do bottom left diagonals until we eventually connect down to the ground like that and that is just going to be your fireworks fuse now we're going to somewhere on the left here we're going to want to have like a switch or it, it looks like a switch it's not a real switch and basically you just want to just place like a uh, a light gray concrete and you want to place light gray concrete going all the way around it like that. Alright? And you want to place an oak wood stairs on top of the center concrete. And you want to place an upside down stair going left of that sideways stair. And then a regular a sideways stair on top of the upside down one. And then an upside down stair going left of that one. And then a regular stair on top of that. And then we're going to place a light grey concrete here in this position. So you can see it kind of looks like a switch. like a, or, or a lever, I should say, or a level, whatever you want to call it, like this. It's kind of like what we're going for, if you guys can kind of see what we're on about. And I'm just going to destroy in the ground. And I want to lead a row of red wool from the uh, actual lever to, uh, to the actual, like, fuse of the firework. Kind of like this. So, I kind of want to have something which looks like that, and it just enhances the build a little bit. I think it makes it look a little bit more fun, a little bit more Minecrafty. I mean, I can't, uh, I can't very well, like, place a firework on the ground, can I? But, um, but just to give you a gist of it, I mean, that what we're kind of aiming for is, like, like that. And then if you were to imagine the firework here, <laughs> you guys can kind of see what we're on about. Like there, 
pretty much the same thing, except we can live inside that version. And of course, you can hollow out the world. The interior doesn't actually need hollowing out, but you can live inside the interior very, very comfortably, and uh, and you can make a nice little house inside of it, as you might have saw at the start of the video. But yeah, that is the firework house complete, guys. I'm hoping that you did enjoy this video. I think it's really, really fun. I hope that you guys do too. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to hit that like button. I'd really, really appreciate it. I really would. If you do enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe, click the little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. It's very, very important stuff indeed. And comment down below. Let me know if you want to see any more from the Live Inside series. It's one of my favorite series. I've made all sorts of stuff um, that I like, you know, like Minecraft items that you can kind of like live inside, like crafting tables, emeralds, diamonds, potions, chests, that sort of stuff. Uh, even a diamond sword, a furnace. I like, I like making weird houses as you can kind of see from uh, these particular builds around me but um if you do want to check out any more of those check out the card system in the description below for the live inside playlist or any of my other playlists i mean that's like jake paul's house um rice Gum's house and i've got all sorts of modern houses suburban houses you guys can check that all out in the card system in the description below thank you so much for watching guys i hope that you have a happy new year it's actually the 31st of december right now as i'm posting this video so tomorrow Brand new day, brand new year, and it all starts on a Monday. How satisfying. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day, have a great year, and I'll see you in the next video.